Okay, so I've just returned to this after just about an hour. And just kind of in a random spot here, as I mentioned, we're out by a sort of a, uh, this, these bushes where I thought might be a good area to collect flies from. Um, and I do see, so we've got how many in here? One, two, three, four, five or six or so. And kind of, you can see them up here actually right at the top so that you can see that the theory is working, that they're working their way towards the top. And then there's a bunch actually down in there on the, uh, on the meat itself. So that's great. So they're down there, they're feeding, they're laying eggs, which means they're inoculating that, um, the, uh, the fish with eggs so, so I can bury the fish within the enclosure, the eggs can hatch. So hopefully you can see that activity. And so I'm just going to basically, and what's interesting, there's a few different types of flies in there as well. So you can see here, so now those flies are totally trapped in there. I've disturbed that. You can probably see them flying around a little bit more. And so now I can basically simply walk this over to the enclosure, open the lid to let them out, and then I could actually st stick this back out here to trap more flies. Now once again, it's a little early in the season. I don't need these flies yet. The, there's no flowers in the plants, but I can see within an hour I'm able to collect, you know, flies very easily nearby. And if I was to go to the compost pile or to the chicken area where there's likely to be a more concentration of flies, um, that could end up being a, a much better method for collecting more flies. So once again, we're doing two purposes here. We've got the flies we're collecting for immediate pollination, plus the eggs that they're laying, which become maggots, then pupae, and then uh, hatch into flies, uh, which would be good for the future. And there's another one on the outside. So a good test run on a warm day here, which makes me very optimistic about being able to pull this off in the summer as our main source of pollinators.